special pieces such as switch tracks and drop tracks. Switch tracks and drop tracks, okay. Which are very exciting. They are brand new for Planet brand Coaster new. 2, something we're really excited to bring to the games to, to show those, those amazing pieces. <laughs> So we've had our second deep dive into Planet Coaster 2 and we've learned a few interesting things. Now something I've learned that's pretty interesting to me is that lots of people are extremely excited for Switch Traps. Now I remember a few uh, streams ago with the Frontier Unlocked, moderators had to ask people to stop asking about Switch Tracks. So yeah, that's, that's something I learned. Anyways, let's dive into this. <laughs> So a few interesting things that we found out was more about the path system. Yes, we know there's like plazas, you can draw things uh, to make the paths and it, it's a really cool system. But not only that, you can sort of make these blocks and then connect them. So it's a, it's a really interesting, it's a bit like using the grid system where you just connect paths and sort of you place that down, you can place a square down next to it and build it up like this. And another cool aspect to it is you can join pools straight to it so when you make your pool either you draw it or you place it uh, next to the path and if it's like slightly touching the path that'll be straight away an opening to get straight onto that pool which is a really cool aspect and makes things a lot easier in a sense of path work as for me <laughs> I've, I always struggle doing paths so this is going to be like a, a lifesaver to me. The next thing that they showed off was how to make like water slides into the pool and I thought it was really interesting because you just make this platform here and then you can just sort of do your own like slide the way you want it. You can have it so it's open top, you can have it so it's closed and you can also have it so it's translucent. So I'm kind of hoping for is that with the translucent ones, I wonder if you could put it under the water and then bring it back up to throw them back out into the water. I feel it'd be kind of cool having like an underwater tunnel sort of um, ability and I feel it would make for an interesting slide. Once you've done your slide the way you like it then you can just place down your stairs which will automatically like appear like so which I really like because it's going to make things a lot easier for me. I know I always struggle getting the level of paths really wrong on Planet Zoo and also on Planet Coaster 1. So with this being an easier option, I'm pretty happy with the fact that it automatically does the stairs for you and you don't have to worry too much. You can also like do the individual colours on the water slide, designing it the way you want it, also adding patterns, which is I think was really cool. And the best thing about this platform as well, you can also just keep adding more water slides to it so it doesn't have to be just the one which I think is kind of cool as well so you're not having to have multiple of these platforms you can have one platform at the end and then add multiple different types of slides going into the pool and as you can see before then once you've made your pool you can still keep adding to that pool adding new sections to it uh, which it's just it just it's user friendly you don't have to close down the pool it just makes things a lot quicker and easier when making these things and definitely think I'm pretty excited excited for. After this they were giving us a demonstration on how you can move things with props so like they've got this little area here for placing a prop and you can also just add things to it and uh, it just keeps working on like so. But the best thing I thought about this is the timing. So as you can see the animation there and they're going to put these water jets down and what you can do with this is set the jets to be set off at a certain time of the animated uh, item. So they're going, to, that's what they're doing right now in the background. They select this and you have this time lapse of where everything is going. They wanted to put the water jets to shoot up when the creature had made its roar, which I thought was really cool. Like this is going to add a lot of customizability to your uh, different areas, also parts of your ride, which is going to be really interesting to see what people actually do with this mechanic. I know I'll probably do a fair few different things with it, just messing around here and there, but I'm just going to be so excited to see what the rest of the community are going to do with this feature. As well, they show off the terrain brush, which 
It's something I'm super excited for because something I always find a bit of a pain is when you're placing down plants to fill up an area. It can take a while trying to get it to look right and you can get the brush to do it automatically for you. And the best bit about it, each of these plants are still individual items once they've been placed down. So if you didn't quite like the way it was sorted out, you can just change it yourself, which I thought was really cool. Anyways, the last bit, they're showing off a little bit of roller coaster building and uh, also talk a little bit about the smoothing options and the way that you can see what the coaster is doing as it's going around on test mode. The main big thing that a lot of people are really excited for though is the fact that they talked about switch tracks and drop tracks. Now, I still can't believe how nuts people went for switch tracks. I kind of get it. It's a cool like feature, but for me, it's going to be more exciting is the drop tracks and now the first thing I'm going to probably try and make in Planet Coaster 2 will probably be 13 one of my favorite roller coasters at Alton Towers which uses a drop track with a jump scare so a combination of that drop track as well as probably an animatronic I could probably make something similar or close to which I think I'm definitely looking forward to Anyways, that's it for me today, and this is only a short recap of what actually happened in the deep dive. If you haven't already seen it yet, I would definitely suggest going to watch it. But as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.